Hey, what's up everybody? AMP here, and today we're going to take a look at how to spin up OpenFOSS on DigitalOcean. OpenFOSS is something that I've been exploring recently for functions as a service. I'm really impressed by the project, and I wanted to show you how easy it is to get started with it. So if you sign into your DigitalOcean account, and you go on the Marketplace, search for OpenFOSS, you'll see the OpenFOSS project and how to get started with it. So we're going to go up here and create our OpenFOSS droplet. I'm just going to do the very standard plan here and create my droplet. Okay, so it looks like that's been provisioned. Let's copy the IP address and log into the server for the first time. Sign in as root. And it might take a second or two to get the service server spin up, but you should be able to authenticate into the server if you've added your SSH key. And right off the bat, it looks like it wants us to start configuring this. Press enter. Okay, so it looks like it's setting up this uh, server as a Docker Swarm Manager node. And it looks like it's done. So we have the login information for our username and password. So obviously we're going to save that. And in our web browser, we're going to travel to the IP address that we were given. I believe it's 8080. Okay, so it looks like it's um, your IP address and port 8080, which is where you will find the OpenFOSS dashboard. Let's fill out this basic auth info so we can get into the dashboard. So paste in the password that we just copied from our server, and we'll click sign in. Sweet. So that's how easy it is to get um, a, an OpenFOSS server set up on DigitalOcean. Now let's deploy a function to this from the, um, the marketplace. So these are all of the open functions that you can uh, download to your server to have available for you. So we have a QR code generator, um, some ASCII art conversion, speech to text, or text to speech rather. I'm going to deploy this text to speech. Uh, let's see here. Click on it and click deploy. So it looks like it's not ready yet, but I think what it's doing is it's downloading um, the Docker image for that function and getting it ready to run uh, inside of our OpenFOSS um, framework. So we'd see, we can see that the status is now ready and we can invoke it. Let's do Hi there, OpenFOSS. We'll hit invoke. It then downloads an MP3. Let's go ahead and open it. Hey there, OpenFOSS. Hey there, OpenFOSS. Cool. So let's try to deploy another one and see if we can demonstrate what an actual API call to this function would look like. I'm going to select Figlet, which generates uh, ASCII logos. So while that's getting set up, let's pop over to Postman and see if we can make a call to that function. Let's copy the URL to this function that will allow us to make calls um, to process this, this function. And 
what we can do is pop on over to Postman, which will allow us to make um, those API calls. So in Postman, we're going to make a post request to the URL that we just copied from OpenFOSS. We're going to point it at the figlet function. And under the body, we're going to send it some raw text of hey MP. So let's see what it does with my username. So it processes it and turns it into ASCII art. Pretty cool. If I go back to my uh, dashboard, I can see that it was invoked one time. And if I send this multiple times, that number will get updated. So there you go. That is deploying OpenFOSS on DigitalOcean. Uh, I hope you're as excited about the project as I am. It's really cool. Um, it's got a great community behind it, and I can't wait to see where it goes. Thanks, and uh, I'll see you later.